All right, so the fourth example uh, on finding the area between curves, let's see what we have. We have it says, find the area of the region between the graphs of f of x equals 3x cubed minus x squared minus 10x and g of x equals negative x squared plus 2x. All right, so, you know, sometimes when you're working these problems, the, the toughest part is just graphing them. Uh, so to graph this one, you know, you could go back to uh, what you learned in uh, your first calculus class uh, when you were graphing, when you learned how to graph, you know, finding relative max, mins, inflection points, and all that stuff. Uh, I, I guess another little bit quicker way we could do it is we could take this 3x cubed minus x squared minus 10x and we can set it equal to 0 and so let's factor out x and that's 3x squared minus x minus 10 equals 0 so I get x times and I think this thing will factor uh, how about 5 and 2 minus plus so so we're going to get x equals 0 or x equals negative 5 thirds or x equal 2. Okay, there's that one. And so to graph this, let's see, let's go ahead and we'll put negative 1, negative 2, 1, and 2. And so let's just plot the zeros. We've got 0, negative 5 thirds, going to be about right in here somewhere. And then we've got 2. So we want to see, you know, is the graph positive or negative uh, on this side of negative 5 thirds? Well, let's just take this value here, negative 2. And if we plug the negative 2 into here, well, let's plug it into here to be easier to see if it's positive or negative. So that's negative 2 times negative 1 times negative 4. So a negative times a negative times a negative is a negative. So we know the graph's down here. And then we can plug in 1. So that's a positive. Uh, I'm sorry, plug in negative 1, not 1. Plug in negative 1. So that's a negative 1, that would be 2, and that would be negative 3. So a negative times a positive is a negative, times a negative is positive, so we know it's up here. And then if we plug the 1 in, that's going to be negative. And then if we plug, you know, this is 2, so if we plug in a 3, that's going to be uh, positive. And so the graph is going to look something, something like this. Okay. All right, so now let's take a look at the graph of negative x squared plus 2x. I'm going to go ahead and erase all this. All right, so now we have uh, g of x equals negative x squared plus 2x, and we can find our vertex that's going to be negative 2 over 2 times negative 1 which is negative 1 no I'm sorry it's going to be positive 1 and so g of 1 would be negative 1 squared plus 2 times 1 well this is going to be negative 1. Remember when you square this, that negative is not with the square. Plus 2, which equals 1. So our vertex is the point 1, 1. And so there's our vertex. Alright, so we found the vertex. Now, let's look and see where our x-intercepts are. So you remember how to find your x-intercepts? We just take this function here the negative x squared plus 2x set it equal to 0 and solve. So 
I'll factor out, I guess we'll just factor out a negative x, so that leaves me with x minus 2 equals 0. So I get x equals 0 or x equal 2. So we know the graph's going to cross here and here. Okay, and this is going to come down like this. And so my graph is going to look something like this. No, no, that's not a very good drawing, but it's it'll serve its purpose. All right. All right, so the area that we're looking for is this. Okay, that's the area between the curves. So what we're going to have to do here is we're going to have to break this up into two problems. We're going to need to find this area and this area, and then we just add them together. And, you, and also note that you see the function f, okay, the function f, how it's on top and g is on bottom from, from here to here. And then from here to here, g is on top and f is on bottom. And remember, when you're finding the area between the curves, it's the function on top minus the function on bottom. The function on top minus the function on bottom. All right, so we need to find where these graphs intersect. Well, we have one point. We saw that when we uh, found the x-intercept here and the x-intercept here. They intersect at x equal 2. So that's one of our limits, and we can see that it also intersects here at uh, 0. Well, what we need to know is what is this x value, okay? I mean, it could, it looks like it's at 2, but you can't go by that. You're going to have to take these two functions, you're going to have to set them equal to 0, and solve. Okay, so when we move everything over, we're going to get 3x cubed minus 12x. Okay, and you can see the x squareds cancel out, and that equals 0. So I'll factor out a 3x, that leaves me with x squared minus 4 equals 0. And so you can see I get x equals 0 or x equal plus or minus 2. And so it does intersect at negative 2, 0, and 2. All right. Now, let me get this off of there. So now I need to set up my integral. Okay. So let me see if I can move this up a little bit. All right. So the first integral I'm going to set up is going to go from, I'm going to integrate from negative 2 to 0. I'm going to do this part. So I have my area is negative 2 to 0. And remember, it's the function on top. Let me go ahead and write these functions down here so I can, so I don't have to keep scrolling. And uh, g of x is negative x squared plus 2x. All right. So remember, it's the function on top, which in this case is f of x. So that's 3x cubed minus x squared minus 10x minus the function on bottom, which is g of x, which is negative x squared plus 2x and I'm integrating that with respect to x all right plus and then I have to do this one so I'm integrating from 0 to 2 okay and it's the function on top which is negative x squared plus 2x minus the function on bottom 3x cubed minus x squared minus 10x. I hope I got all that on there. I think it's kind of running off the page. And so I'm integrating that with respect to x. 
All right. So let's just kind of combine like terms here and here and kind of clean this up a little bit. So this is going to give me negative 2 to 0 of 3x cubed minus 12x dx plus, and then this one is going to give me negative 3x cubed plus 12x dx. All right. Now, let's go ahead and integrate, and this should be easy for you integrating this. So that's going to be 3 fourths x to the fourth minus 6x squared, and that's from negative 2 to 0, plus negative 3 fourths x to the fourth plus 6x squared from 0 to 2. All right, so now let's plug the 0 in. So when I plug the 0 in, that's 3 fourths times 0 minus 6 times 0. So that's just going to be 0 there. Okay, minus, and then I plug the negative 2 in. So that's 3 fourths times negative 2 to the 4th minus 6 times negative 2 squared. Okay, I didn't plug the 0 in because, I mean, that's easy to do. You just plug 0 in, you get 0. So this is the first one, and then plus this one. So let's plug the 2 in. So that's negative 3 fourths times 2 to the 4th plus 6 times 2 squared, okay, minus, okay, and then I have to plug in the 0. But when I plug the 0 in here, you can see that's just going to be 0, okay. So now it's just a little, a little arithmetic and let me put my equals here and so when you evaluate this that's going to give you 24 all right and that's that's all of this video i hope it helped uh hope you'll check out my other videos all right thanks